absolutely amazing. It's glorious. It's like one of these Downton Abbey type places. And um, I was there at the time that um, the head of art was developing it as a sculpture garden. So we've got some fantastic, if anybody's been there, we've got some fantastic uh, sculptors like Barbara Hepworth and, and Henry Moore and, and, and people like that. But the standing there, I always remember the story of um, one of Henry Moore's massive, massive sculptures disappearing from Bretton Hall. And the word went out that it's on the international art market, you know, where stolen things disappear and they go into these multi-billionaires' uh, accommodation and things like that. And so we thought, well, we've lost it. It's gone forever, this amazing bronze, Henry Moore. And it turned out two years later they found it in a scrapyard in Wakefield. <laughs> they didn't realise how valuable it was and they stole it for the scrap value. And last year, I think, the, uh, a guy called Anthony Gormley is another artist, a sculptor in bronze, and he does it where he puts these figures of himself into the sea. So you've got this tall, massive figure with these legs into the, into the ground in the sea. Unfortunately, what's happened is somebody's been and stolen them and they've cut them off at the legs there. So there's these stumps that, that, are, that are left. Anyway, I was trained to teach English, art, and drama, you know, and um, to sort of middle school. But this particular day, my lecturer, I always remember his name, he was called Reg, Reg Lister, and he said to me, read that sentence. So I went, it sounded like a good idea. He went, spell it. I went, S-E-A-M-P-T. Right? He went, get that dictionary down from up there, find me that word. I couldn't find it. And the reason I couldn't find it is because it didn't exist. The word was seemed. But I was brought up with that word, sent. It sounded like a good idea. So if it seemed like a good idea. So I'm supposed to be teaching children, teenagers, um, to be able to read and write and all the rest of it. So I went into youth service in the end and then I could say anything to the teenagers that I wanted to. Um, and I worked in a place called Grindthorpe. I don't know whether you've heard of Grindthorpe. The Grindthorpe Band. Band. The band. Now, my dad worked down Grindthorpe Pit. I'm my younger brother. And I worked <coughs> in a library. When I left for college, I worked in the library, the Grindthorpe Library. I always remember this guy coming in and said, I want a book on goats. Right? So I got him this book on how to rear goats. Anyway, two weeks later, which was the length of time, he came back and I, and I said to him, where's the book? He went, I'm really sorry. So I said, why, what's the matter? Look, tell, me what, you know, tell me what's happened. And he got this book out, right, and it was covered in pig muck, and the goat had bitten the corner off. So he'd taken, <laughs> taken the book onto his allotment and taken it down the, down the pit, and I said, let's, let's pretend we've not seen it. We'll, we'll hide it from, from my boss. So what I want to do is read you some, a few things, some things, and um, I wrote this poem um, about my dad. And I have to put my glasses on because I'm getting to that point now. And it's called My Father, the Miner. And when the men used to come out of the pit, they looked gorgeous. Not that you don't, but there we go. And because they looked as though they'd got eyeliner on, yeah? And it was the pit dust that they couldn't get out when they'd had a, a shower. And uh, so this is, as I say, so I use the word coal, K-O-H. I'm not using the word coil, because also we were brought up with things like, it took me years to be able to say the word the in a sentence. Couldn't say it. I'm off t shop. Mm. Go and get some coil from t coil oil, yeah? So it took me a long time to be able to use the word the. So, my father the miner. You took my father into your bowels, trapped him in your sulphur-stained intestines, burnt him, bled him, and blistered his soul, that coal-eyed beauty. Canaries sang their death song to your power, horses blinded by a dark light, a no light, a never-ending night. And yet, magnificent ripped men bowed before you, began. Praise their tonnage, stalked their slate, their thirst, and stalked you. Redundant now, he still, it's now difficult with H's, he still honours you, and a staggered kneeling, 
waterlogged knees and lacerated toes, toes. With racing page and pen, he watches you, talks to you and curses you, tired eyes and calculates his wintry wings. Um, 